Hi, what's your name? Janitra. Oh, good afternoon, Janitra. My name is Miss Carr. Um, I was uh, just recently got an email for case number 555-277-928. Yes. In the complaint, I requested that all these different claims be combined as one because the original contractor, which is Jasper Utility Services, they came out okay. in January and removed piping from our building. This is a condominium insurance. I have a condominium. And when they busted those water lines in the other units, what it caused is flooding in our units. Okay? This is the reason why I had the complaint for them to combine all those compl- those those um, claims because it originated from this Jasper Utility Services removing or busting um, water lines in the building which caused property damages and loss of use. And because travelers separated all these claims which originated from this same company, Jasper Utilities Company coming in here and busting the water lines they did not combine all the complaints they separated them and then ultimately using that as the catalyst to terminate my insurance and so I had to go get another insurance The other insurance, based on all those several claims originating from Jasper Utilities, which my complaint says that, is to combine them all so that I can least get adequate insurance. And the same company has not repaired what they damaged in our building. Okay? And this is what my original complaint says. It did not say, well, they paid this out, piece, they paid that out. All the complaints are originating from this Jasper Utilities doing work in the other building, in the other uh, units. It's a condominium policy. And this is what doesn't work. Chelsea did not have a conversation with me to discuss how to combine it. I wasn't talking about them doing a synopsis of each complaint. It's all originating from this same company. So it's supposed to be one complaint. All the claims are supposed to be. I understand. I understand. So I will say, um, the way our office addresses complaints, once the complaint is received and it's assigned to an analyst, if there isn't a phone call, because everything we have to do has to be in paperwork. And so the analyst receives the complaint, they review the complaint, they send it to the insurance company for a response. The insurance company responds, and then for our office, we regulate insurance companies based off Title 33. So the analyst reviews the response from the insurance company to make sure the insurance company hasn't violated a state law. In your case, it's clear. We understand which request was. We sent it to travelers. They came back and are maintaining their position. They're stating it's three separate states, three separate causes of loss, so they're not going to combine it. And our office doesn't have the regulatory authority to mandate that they do that. Well, that doesn't mean it's correct. It doesn't mean it's what they're doing is correct. I know you can't mandate it, but you can say you can combine all these claims because they all originated from the same contractor. And we still don't have water. How how does a contractor... Well, wait. before Before you hang up, how does a contractor who is not even the water authority have the authority to disrupt our water. That's the reason why he put they put me in a hotel because we did not have water. That is the reason. That was a loss of use of my home. And we still don't have water. So yeah, unfortunately, I wish I had to as far as the contractor, I'm not sure. And since our office doesn't regulate contractors, I'm not sure why that would possibly be a conversation to have with the contractor and their company to just understand what action is being taken and why it's affecting the condo unit this long. Well, that's because 
you know, when we make these complaints, you have to talk to us. You can't, you, you know, I left it as brief as possible. You know, my, in my original complaint, it was, it was one page, and I think I might have had one attachment, so I wouldn't overwhelm nobody, okay? Okay. And so let me open up my draft and look at the original complaint. If I can download yeah. it. And, 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 and I think in the, it was in the, the original in, complaint in the, and the three of the emails. Wait, wait. In the original complaint, it says all flood property damages on January the 17th, the 19th, February the 11th, March the 3rd were originating from the same contractor non-public utility Jasper Utility Services and I actually included all the um, uh, claim that I had and I said request property damages claims and I put all that in there uh, property damages loss of use due to essential water an all-inclusive condo home without water due to intimidation that means they turned it off because they wanted to us to co coerce us into buying uh, water from another company who's not even the public utility And that is against the law because Rockdale Water Resources is the, is the water authority around here. And that's who I would want to do business with because this is what they do all day long. This other company is contaminating our water by cutting the, the original water lines. And now the next door neighbors had to move out because it flooded their unit too. Oh, wow. Well, okay. And so they moved them out, and then they redirected the water that we had restored twice this year, paid, you know, different contractors to restore our water because it wasn't cut off by the water company. Well, when this last uh, unit, 1504C or D, because they moved out because they had mold and flooding, they moved out, they redirected the water to where we can't get any because we didn't sign up with this non-water authority. And that part doesn't work. So I'm going to resubmit this complaint because this is all originating from this. I'm, I'm going to resubmit. I'm going to go online. So you wouldn't need to because our office has done what we can within our regulatory authority. You, I, you did provide a detailed enough complaint which is why travelers be in state they restated in the response that you what's have your contacted name? them several times. Wait, what's your name? You said my name? De Denitra. I did not put in this, this this complaint to combine all the claims. So thank you for letting me read it. I asked for them to pay for a loss of use of home due to no essential water. I did not put in a complaint to combine no, all the complaints. Request to combine property damage claims. That's on your complaint. That doesn't form. say your that. Your request was to combine. It, I'm looking right at it. It says request to combine property slash damage claims IXX-7592, comma, IXX-9399, comma, IXX-9816. Well, That's it's okay. Well, well, you know what? Sometimes y'all make an error, so I'm going to redo it again. Or you're just going to have to get me so to your supervisor. No need to redo What's your it? supervisor? If, if there is something no. additional, you would submit a rebuttal because we already have a complaint that the insurance company is dropped. So if oh, there's rebuttal. new information that how do you do a rebuttal? not provided. Please explain how do you so do the rebuttal. So you would have to write out what is inaccurate or what you disagree with the insurance company's response, and you have to provide documented proof disagree. to refute what, what the mean? insurance company is stating. Do I have to put law? 
Right. Well, if it's under Title 33, because in your complaint, you mentioned Title 16, OCGA 16, which we don't have regulatory authority. Okay, so got it. So our office is Title 33. So if it's a law that's 33-6-11, then we can review that, but OCGA 16 does not fall under our office. Okay, so the Title 33 is OCGA 33, right? Title 33, yes. Title 33, and then go from there. Now, in the rebuttal, yes. can I uh, show pictures where we have a uh, video, we have no water? Because this company is the one that turned off the water. The same Jasper right, Utility. So, so wouldn't that be, so that would be that insurance company, that contractor's liability insurance because your insurance company, there isn't any physical damage in the home that's causing lack of water. That's not true. So that is not an issue. That, that is not okay. true. Since they didn't fix the problem, it continued to flood my floors. My floors are all jacked up, originating from this original complaint in January. The original complaint. And the reason why I wanted them all complying, because it's the same company who did all these things. And then I had to go get another insurance company that doesn't cover for the problems that are still going on today that originated January the 17th, 2023 with this Jasper Utilities digging and cutting our water lines and cutting out piping in the other units. Right, so in just listening to this briefly and not having the full details, what it sounds like is you have an issue with Jasper Utilities. Jasper Utility should have its own liability insurance that would cover damages that occurred to your unit. It wouldn't be your condo but, policy. But you don't if get it. My, my in condo insurance covers from the inside the walls. So since it originated because this contractor, and see, I didn't do business with this contractor. I don't have a contract with Jasper Utilities. The other three units did. And that's what caused damages to all of our units from the flooding that occurred from them signing up with this Jasper Utilities. And when I told them, you need to come over here and fix this, turn, turn the water back on because I don't have a contract with you. I pay the water bill around here. The water bill is Rockdale Water Resources. They're the water authority. And we're all-inclusive. We're all-inclusive condominium. They tricked the other people into going on with this, Jasper. That they didn't trick me. I didn't sign a contract with them. Because they weren't the, the local water authority. That's the reason why I chose not to. And then they didn't provide us with their insurance for damages. I don't have a contract with them. I have no way of knowing who their liability company is, unless you, you guys can investigate that. So we don't have a way. The only thing is you can request that they provide it to you, and within 30 days, if they don't provide it to you, then you can seek legal counsel to see what your next recourse would be. But unfortunately, we don't have a database where we could look up insurance carriers. You don't get it. Suing for water is the wrong redirection. We had water before no, I'm this just company. As far as giving insurance information, no. like if you wanted, if they didn't give you their liability carrier information, you don't get it. I don't do business with them. They wouldn't have to give it to me because I don't have a contract with them. So why would I want want their insurance uh, policy? So I was just simply answering when you stated if we were able to give you their insurance carrier information. And I was stating, no, we don't have it. The only thing we can suggest is you ask for it if that's what you're looking for. And then if they don't provide it to you within 30 days, then you would seek legal counsel. That was my statement for that question. What's the Okay, what's the legal counsel for? I am not suing... Nobody. Okay, so you don't have to. You don't have to do that. I'm just saying, you know, that we don't have a database to give you that information. If that is something you want. No, I don't do business with them. I do business. I did business with Travelers Insurance, and they because they did not combine the claims because it originated from Jasper Utilities that caused my insurance to be high. 
okay? And I want my insurance to go back to the right price because this was all originating from Jasper Utilities. So we need right. to combine. So I, so I understand that. And so what I'm saying is, so the only issue that I say we can address is the combining of the claims. We sent that complaint to the insurance company. They have responded. They are not going to combine the claim. Our office doesn't have the regulatory authority to tell them that they have to combine the claim. So that portion of your complaint has been addressed. They're not going to combine it. They are going to keep it as three separate claims. So, yes, on your clue report, when you try to get insurance from other carriers, it is going to show that three separate claims have been filed. So, yes, it will affect your risk scale. Right. Now, and if you're still, stating that they're... And, and wait, them $421 check, I did not have. I don't have no $421 check that they say that I have. They, that's not enough to pay for the damages that have occurred because of the flooding, because of this outside company cut pipes, originating pipes in the other units. And see, that's where I had the issue with. My insurance did not cover for the damages in my house. Okay, so if you are stating that the paper you received wasn't enough, that is separate outside of what you stated in your complaint. So outside of combining the claims, because the insurance company has already addressed that and said they are going to do it. Now, if your next issue is that you didn't receive the proper payments, then you can send that to us in writing so we can advance them to the insurance company so they can provide a breakdown of the payment. But we, there the is nothing we can do about combining the claims. Yeah, but the damages are not repaired. What I'm saying is they could have sent out a check for $421. The damages are way more than that. And so have you provided them? Because I'm looking at the estimate that they provided. Now, if you have supporting documentation, if you had a contractor that came out and said, I'm just making up a figure, saying the repairs are $10,000, then you can submit that documentation. That is just documentation that the insurance company did not review when they responded to your complaint because the crutch of your complaint was combining the three claims. Right, that was the original one. But the estimate, but they responded that way. So I'm responding to their response, right? Because this is not what I was complaining about before, okay? So I'm responding right. to their so new information. Yeah, the rebuttal is yes. that $421 is not enough to cover for the damages in my home, nor for not having utilities. Because this is the company that turned the utilities off. This is the same company that caused the flooding that they were trying to find and they sent a company out and they couldn't find it because it wasn't even in the units that the water was coming out of. It was coming out of 1504D. We later learned about that. It was, it was the same um, area where this same company was working. That's what caused the leakage. And then they moved the people out real quick and tried to clean up their mess. But the issue is we haven't had water since January 2023 so that's loss of use at home that's and, and my policy was effective all the way till August so I need to get loss of use of my home for so eight months eight months okay. so yes that would be all the details that you need to submit in your rebuttal so yeah but this well, hold up I said I said right here Loss of use of home due to no essential water. This is an all-inclusive. And they addressed that in the response. They stated. It's part of my policy. Loss of use. It says claim number did not contain any payments since loss of utilities, in this case water, is not covered by the policy. I didn't so say loss, I, your loss of I didn't say loss of utilities. I said loss of use. It is considered 
You can't live in your home if you don't have water or sanitation. I didn't say the cost for utilities. How do you live a home, live in a home if you don't have sanitation? You're not able to wash your hands, flush the toilet, or nothing. That's loss of use. Right, so yeah, I didn't so say loss of utilities. And then can you break down how long you're asking for the loss of use? Uh, uh, you would have uh, to mention the payment for for. You said the 42172 is not enough. We need all that document in writing so that we can make sure the insurance company is addressing all your concerns. Well, wait a which minute. Which would include just making sure you put the time frame in. Well, well, hold up. The loss of use of home, I didn't say loss of utilities. The loss of use means not having utilities in the house is a essential, not having essentials. That's totally different than paying the water bill. And the fact that they terminate my policy based on those claims which we need to be as one, that's the reason why they didn't want to do it because then they would have to reinstate my policy. Not just dismiss me because the same company had caused all this damage to my unit and not just my unit, the next door neighbors. That's why I, I'm, I'm having a conversation with you is because Miss Myers should have talked to me. This is, re- so this is part of the investigation. So I'm policy that wouldn't be, that, that wouldn't happen. Huh? The, our our in-office policy is not that the analyst calls the consumer. Now, certainly, if you call analysts with any concerns, they do have to respond. But no. When Hold you up. I called her. The analyst is going to call you. Ma'am, I called her. And she did return your call. Based the, off of the no, hold up. No, no. This, this is what she said. She said, you have to wait until they respond. I said, what do you mean respond? We need to discuss what you sent to them in the context in which you discuss them. She told me, see, this is what y'all don't do. Y'all don't record y'all conversations, all of them. She told me that I had to wait 15 business days before I could say anything else to her. This is not how you get out of a conversation by saying, oh, we'll wait till they get a reply. I was calling to her to tell her, look, this is how it's going to be because 